Hello there, thanks so much for tuning in. So today we are going to be unboxing brand new Kaldheim Commander deck, Elven Empire with Lathril, Blade of Elves as the commander. So we'll be tearing this open, having a little look, and as I flick through it, I might make a few suggestions and things like that. We'll see how it goes. So first of all, looking at the box, we've got a green black deck um, because Lathril is green and black and two colorless. Uh, on the front, it proudly boasts that we get one legendary foil despite the fact that previous Commander products had three legendary foils in it. And then if we flip it over, we can see that there are, in fact, um, sort of three specific cards that they highlight for this deck. Why they couldn't make all of them in foil. It costs maybe an extra centre card? Something like that, who knows. Why they couldn't have done that, we'll never know. Uh, it gives you a bit of blurb, etc. We've got a 100 card deck with eight new cards, which is pretty exciting. We get a deck box, we get some double-sided tokens which always look lovely, a life wheel so we no longer get spin downs or spinny things, strategy insert and a reference card. So we've also lost the oversized cards that all commander products used to come with. So same amount of money-ish, just less stuff. Um, so we'll see if the eight new cards and the, the sort of deck building quality make up for it. So let's just not hold back and just tear into it there. Okay, so we've got a sheet of plastic there. We've got Lathril and the deck there. In this bit, we've got the tokens. I don't think there's anything else. And then this is all the paperwork and the, and the bump that will go into the recycling. So we get our How to Play Commander Guide, always handy if you're new to the game. We get our deck box, which is, yeah, nice to see them including this. And from what I can tell, it is big enough to have sleeved cards inside it. So it's really lovely that they've listened to that bit of feedback and are making these large enough for doing that. This is our Kaldheim Commander symboled up uh, life counter. I would have preferred it with the spinny things from the anthology sets. They're really cool. Uh, so we get our pack of tokens in here for the deck, double-sided. Usual high quality of full art artwork on those. So they're looking cool. And we get a brand new commander, Lathril, Blade of Elves. And I'm really excited about this commander. So two, a black and a green for a 2-3 Elf Noble with Menace. Whenever Lathril deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1-1 one, one green Elf Warrior creature tokens. So my initial thought is we're going Voltron Elves, because you want to pump that up and you want to sneak it through with a Rogue's Passage or some kind of evasion uh, so that we can take full advantage of creating lots and lots of green Elves. And to sort of go nicely with that, we've obviously got the brand new Voronklex, which is effectively a token doubler. We've got the all-time token doubler of a doubling season, and there's various others out there as well uh, that uh, cover various budgets, but that is definitely something to go with. So we could just make this uh, into a Voltron and token deck, so <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite, it's go wide and go narrow at the same time. Or we could go for a bit more of an elf tribal with the second ability of tapping 10 untapped elves and each opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10 life. If you can fit an untap mechanic into here, something from Lorwyn possibly, there was lots of untapping going on there, then that's quite possibly that you could sort of one turn shoot people. So really, really interesting commander to build around. I have no idea what is in this stack here. I have not looked at these decks at all. I know that one of them was Azorius, which really didn't interest me. I'm sorry to say <laughs> all those Azorius fans out there. So let's pull this apart and let's have a look. Where's Have they got the basic lands at the back? So that's all basic lands there. And these are all kinds of other cards. So let's have a flick through. Pact of the Serpent. So choose a creature type, target player draws X cards, loses X life, where X is the number of creatures they control of the chosen type. So that is a really lovely tribal card, like that a lot. Ruthless Winnower. 
At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacks a non-elf creature. So five mana, four, four, elf rogue. That's quite nice as well. Serpent Soldier, whenever an elf you control dies, exile it. Doesn't matter if we're making elf tokens because they exile anyway. Tap it and pay two life. Until the end of turn, you may cast a creature spell from among cards exile. Oh, okay. So it exiles non-token elves and you can pull them back, I guess, for two life. Fair enough. Bounty of Skemfar. Reveal the top six cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tapped and an elf card from among them into your hand. Rest on the bottom of the library. So that's kind of like a cultivate, but half of it is for an elf rather than a second land. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's sorcery and exactly the same cost. So yeah, nice. Canopy Tactician, other elves get plus one, plus one, and Super Mana Dork as well for four mana. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Crown of Skemfar. Lots of Skemfar going on. Presumably that's a place. It's an aura. Enchant creature. It gets plus one, plus one for each elf you control and has reach. And then you can bounce it back from your graveyard to your hand. Super useful that, I reckon. Another card, Wolverine Riders. Four green green for a four four, so that's quite steep. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior token. That's where the value comes in. That is absolutely amazing. Whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to its toughness. So if you're creating a load of tokens with Lathril, <laughs> get his name right, Lathril, and doubling it up with your Vaughan Clexes, your doubling seasons, then you're going to be, yeah, it's one life at a time, but that's like sort of maybe 10 life a turn that you're gaining. That's crazy good. Next up, Elder Fang Venom. So two black and a green for an enchantment. Attacking elves you control have death touch. So you might want to put in the new guy from Kaldheim, the one three that gives all your death touch creatures poison. Uh, that might be something to look at. We get a reprint of Beast Whisperer. So this is pretty much a staple, I believe, in all green decks, let alone elf decks. We've got a Cultivator of Blades. So this was from Kaladesh originally. It's got Fabricate mechanic on it. Uh, Dwine then, Guiltleaf Dane. I believe that one was from Dominaria, and that's really cool. Elvish Arch Druid, can't remember where that's from, but that's your usual Elf Lord. Endray's Forerunners was one of the Ravnica um, sets, the last Ravnica set, I think it was. Uh, Harvest Season from Amonkhet, I love that as a, as a ramp spell. I really enjoyed playing that. Imperius Perfect, classic Elf Tribal. Marwyn the Nurturer, really, really good card. So that could get very out of hand, depending how many elf creature tokens you're creating. Master Admirers, Reese the Exiled. We've got Voice of the Words, Casualties of War. So that is the uh, crazy good spell from War of the Spark. That's the set's name. Let's just pop these back. Ambitions Cost, draw three cards, lose three life. I Blight Colours. I Blight is going to be from one of the two Lawin blocks. And I Blight Massacre as well. So all non elf creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Liss Alana Scarblade. Lovely artwork on that. That looks fantastic. Uh, Miara, Thorn of the Glade. Never heard of that card before. Interesting. So it might have been from a Commander set because it's got Partner on it. It would have to be, actually, I guess. Pride of the Perfect. So an enchantment, just a power boost. Prowess of the Fair, Elvish Mystic, Elvish Promenade, Rejuvenator, Farhaven Elf, Jagged Scar Archers, Lanawa Tribe, Luce Alana Huntmaster, so even more 1 1 elves being created, Nullmaid Shepherd, Numa, so this is another partner, so this must have been from the um, Commander Legends set, I think, and Reclamation Sage, classic. Springbring Druid, Sylvan Messenger, a Timberwatch Elf, Voice of Many, Wirewood Channeler, Wood Elves, wow, that is a blast from the past, fair play. Abomination of Lanawa, Vigilance, Menace, Power and Toughness equal to the number of Elves you control, plus the number of Elf cards in your graveyard. That could get out of hand very quickly. 
Golgari Fine Broker, that was a complete pain in standard a short while ago. Moldavine Reclamation, Poison Tip Archer, so there's quite a few recent cards in here as well as Classic Elves. Putrefy, Shaman of the Pack, Twin Blade Assassins, then we're into some rocks, so we get another Arcane Signet and a Soul Ring. We get a Command Tower, so the three staples all in a row there. And then we're on to the Mana Base, and Mana Bases are traditionally where these Commander Precons have been lacking due to the amount of tapped lands. So we've already got two tapped lands, three tapped lands, four tapped lands, five tapped lands, despite that being awesome. <laughs> Six tap lands. Path of Ancestry is awesome as well, especially in tribal decks. But that's a lot of uh, ETB tapped lands in one place. And then we've got some more spells at the back, which is a little bit weird, but there we go. So Elderfang Ritualist, when it dies, return another target elf card from your graveyard to your hand. Poison the Cup. We've got Return Upon the Tide. Skemfar Shadow Sage, I was about to say Shadow Mage, and it's got a wall of text on it. Turgrid's Shadow, uh, each player sacrifice two creatures and it's got Foretell on it. Shadow would have been nice as well, I do like a bit of Shadow as a mechanic. Elven Ambush, so create an elf token for each elf you control, that would just go absolutely bonkers. Jaspera Sentinel, we've got Roots of Wisdom. Binding the Old Gods, so destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Search your library for a forest guard, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and creatures you control gain death touch until end of turn. Yeah, this is screaming out for that 1-3 guy to be put in here. We've then got Harald, King of Skemfar. He's a 3-2 for 3 mana, Menace. When he ETBs, look at the top 5 cards. You can reveal an Elf, Warrior, or Tyvar card. Put them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's pretty cool. We've then got another land, the ETB's tapped. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And we can add mana and then we can tap mana and tap it to do fishy stuff, etc. And then you've just got a little guide there as to as to what to do for beginner players. So that is the Lathril deck. It is pretty sweet. It's a, certainly a solid tribal deck for sure. There's bound to be a few elves that you can add to it. And like I say, there's a few few pricey cards that you might want to add if you really want to sort of go down the, the sort of generating masses of 1-1 one, one elves and then maybe getting some lords. Um, there are some lords in here. And you could go wide, you could go Voltron, you could find some untapped tech to put in here to yeah make it quite a universal deck so that was my look through the Kaldheim commander Lathril blade of elves commander deck because <laughs> it's from commander so hope you enjoyed that it certainly is nice to look through it I don't know if I'll actually be running it as a commander deck but I'll certainly give it a go and I'm sure that the design team have made it uh, playable against the uh, Ranar, I believe it is, the blue-white deck of the same set. So there's that to look out for. And I just wanted to say thank you, because I forgot at the front, to Wizards of the Coast in Europe for sending this through to me free of charge as a gift for me to open up on the channel and share with you what is in here and get some hype building. Like I say, really cool deck really wish that they would sort out the mana base there is no excuse for that number of etb tapped lands to be in a deck and there's no excuse for them to take away two foils from a product line that for five or six years has had three foils and an oversized card or three in every single deck that they've released i don't understand why that's changed except that they're trying to hide foils from us so that we don't notice the curl on them anyway that's me signing out Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you at some point in the future with another video. And until then, take care of yourselves and have a fantastic time. Cheers, everyone. Ta-ra.